Sweet itch, sweet eczema horses. A frequent skin ailment in horses called sweet itch is brought on by an allergic reaction to insect bites. Queensland itch, summer dermatitis, insect, bite hypersensitivity, summer eczema, recurring seasonal pruritus, and horse culicoid sensitivity are other names for it. In horses, this crippling and persistent seasonal ailment frequently results in intense scratching, irritation, hair loss, and skin sores. It can cause the horse a lot of suffering and can be quite irritating for horse owners. While not all horses that are stung by flies or midges experience an allergic reaction, those with sweet itch have an increased sensitivity to the saliva of biting insects. To alleviate itching, they could rub or scratch ferociously, causing harm to the skin in the process. Today, sweet itch is a well-known allergy condition that was first identified in 1840 and affects over 10% of all horses globally. One of the most frequent allergy diseases seen by veterinarians nowadays is this one. Sadly, there is no known treatment for sweet itch, although it can be controlled to lessen irritability in horses. What brings on a sweet itch? Allergies are immunological illnesses brought on by intricate interplay between environmental and genetic variables. Although genetics may be involved, researchers do not fully understand why some horses are sensitive to certain allergies while others are not. Type 1 through 4 allergen hypersensitivity reactions have been categorized by researchers. Sweet itch is regarded as a type 1 allergy, often known as an anaphylactic reaction or acute hypersensitivity. An allergy to biting culicoid species of insects is the usual cause of the sweet itch. The condition may also be brought on by other insect species, such as Simulium, Tabanus, and Stomoxys spp. Midges are the popular name for these kinds of insects. A horse's skin picks up a variety of salivary proteins after the midge bites it and begins feeding. Skin cells release cytokines, which are tiny proteins that signal neighboring immune cells, activating them to generate immunoglobulin E, EJ, the main allergen, specific antibody. The mast cells in the skin then contain this allergen, specific EJ. Mast cells release inflammatory mediators including histamine and prostaglandins when Ig attaches to the allergen salivary proteins, starting an allergic reaction. The release of histamine is what makes the skin itchy. Eosinophils and basophils are two more immune cells that are involved. The insects that produce sweet itch are widespread and come in a variety of kinds depending on the nation. The term Queensland itch refers to the ailment's high prevalence in Australia, where a 60% recorded incidence rate for the condition. The incidence rates are predicted to be 3% in the UK and 37% in Germany. Research has also shown that horses with sweet itch are more likely to develop recurrent airway obstruction, REO, often known as heaves, and the opposite is true. The biodiversity hypothesis, which takes into account changes in the gut microbiota, altered diet, and increased cleanliness contends that the current rise in allergy illnesses may be related to these factors early exposure and genetics all breeds of horses are susceptible to sweet itch however a horse's vulnerability depends on both heredity and environmental variables sweet itch is more common in horses descended from affected dams and maternal grand dams than it is in horses descended from unaffected dams and granddads Although it's possible that shared environmental exposure also has a role, sweet itch's genetic component appears to be transferred from dam to foal. Sweet itch's maternal effects can be linked to colostrum contains maternal EG antibodies against colchoids allergens that are transmitted to the foal. Similar exposure levels in the same setting, including similar feeding and housing practices. Genetic predisposition. There is proof that early exposure can lower future Icelandic horses are the source of sweet itch. They seem to be more susceptible to getting the illness when exported to other parts of the world as adults. Icelandic horses are more prone to sweet itch perhaps because these horses are only exposed to culicoids and comparable insect species after export at an adult age. The insects are not found in Iceland. One research indicated that 50% of Icelandic horses moved from Iceland to Switzerland acquired sweet itch within three summers after export. Early life exposure appears to be critical for the development of tolerance to allergies. For example, Icelandic horses born in mainland Europe had less of an immunological response to allergens than Icelandic horses born in Iceland and transported to mainland Europe. Symptoms of sweet itch 
Skin lesions caused by sweet itch are often bald, weeping, and occasionally ulcerative, non-healing. Horses tend to have intense itching at the region of these lesions along the horse's back, especially at the base of the mane and tail. Lesions can develop on the horse's head, legs, sides, and under the belly less frequently. Sweet lesions that cause itching may bleed, enlarge, or seem scaly or crusty. Horses frequently try to rub lesions on nearby objects like trees, fence posts, stall walls, or the ground, which causes more hair loss and swelling. Other indications that your horse might have sweet itch include vigorous tail swishing to ward off insects, excessive grooming among pasture companions, a lot of rolling, rubbing mane with back hooves, behavioral alterations such as lethargy, irritability, and restlessness, shaking of the head when insects are nearby skin folds that form as the condition worsens, resulting in a sparse hair coat and dandruff. Although the time of onset can change depending on location, sweet itch symptoms are most frequently seen from May to October. While some horses begin to show signs in the late spring, others might not begin to show signs until the late summer. Additionally frequent are subsequent infections. Skin lesions promote the growth of bacteria, mites, and fungi, which causes additional irritation and more lesions. Treatments for sweet itch. Only allergen. Specific immunotherapy, ASIT, is effective in treating type 1 hypersensitivities. Human allergies have been treated with this method for more than a century. However, ASIT has limited efficacy in the treatment of sweet itch in horses. Treatment plans for sweet itch often focus on reducing itching symptoms and elevating the horse's level of comfort. In some cases, steroids and hyposensitization therapy have been employed, but their effectiveness rates are under 50%. Additionally, there is a chance that using steroids will have negative side effects, such as immunosuppression, adrenocortical dysfunction, pituitary dysfunction, muscle atrophy, altered bone metabolism, increased susceptibility to infection, and laminitis. Two vaccinations have recently been developed for use as sweet itch therapies, and research is still underway. The main inflammatory cells present in lesions on horses with sweet itch are eosinophils, which are the focus of the IL-5 vaccine. Horse lesion readings were found to be reduced by active immunization against the IL-5 cytokine, according to research. Before the start of the active sweet itch season, this immunization can be administered annually. Similar to the IL-5 vaccination, IL-31 is another therapeutic vaccine. The IL-31 vaccination, on the other hand, targets a distinct cytokine that causes itching in lesion regions. According to clinical research, this vaccine also helped affected horses' symptoms. The clinical symptoms of sweet itch may be lessened by these vaccines, even if they won't stop the allergic reaction in and of itself. How TO manage and AMP prevent sweet ITCH? There are several ways that horse owners can employ to assist treat sweet itch symptoms in their horses. Most seek to prevent midges from getting in contact with horses. These strategies include Stable horses from dusk till dawn, especially in hot, humid situations when culicoids are most active. Avoid turnout in marshy regions, extremely wet fields, or near water sources such as ponds. Use mesh blankets to deter insects from biting. Use fly masks and mesh leg coverings to protect the entire body apply insect repellents. Keep manure frequently cleaned from grazing areas and stables to limit the number of midges, which thrive in warm and damp environments on or around droppings. Clean water troughs regularly use industrial fans in barns. Apply a fly screen to the stable door. Nutrition. Nutrition can also play a significant role in helping to manage the symptoms of sweet itch and maintaining skin health. It is recommended to limit grains and sweet feeds in the diets of horses with sweet itch. Non structural carbohydrates, which are prevalent in these meals and may contribute to inflammation. Instead, give your horse additional low starch forage and a diet with a balanced amount of vitamins and minerals to strengthen his immune system and prevent inflammation. Although sweet itch is difficult to control, with careful attention and persistence, you might be able to lessen symptoms and improve your horse's comfort. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Share your precious thoughts with us in comments section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.